Hello everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me. It's really lovely to be here with you today. So I'm back after, I think it's four days, it could be five, I don't know, I've lost track now. Um, yeah, been poorly and um, I'm on the mend. <laughs> I'm not mended, but I'm on the mend. So yay, I'm back. Um, a little bit rusty actually, if truth be told. So. Um, it's Monday here, Monday afternoon. Um, I'm hopefully just going to do a little video and get it up for you today. That would be good. But I'm thinking um, we'll do some scraps on Sunday or scraps on Monday, as it were. Um, I have just been sat here for 15 minutes having a little play with, with something. Well, to tell you the truth, I sat for 15, maybe 20 minutes, and then I went downstairs and had a rest for an hour. <laughs> um, and I'm back uh, to do... I just wanted to get my... Um, yeah, get my hand back in again really you know work out where the glues were and what was i doing and yeah strange how rusty you get after you know four or five days away from your desk very strange um it felt like i came into my craft room it felt like um yeah strange place <laughs> normally it's it's like my living room as it were when neil's at work so for three or four days a week and then a couple not and then another three or four days a week you know, this is where I live, so yeah, it was very strange. I haven't literally haven't been in it for five, five days solid, not at all. Didn't get out of bed for three, so <laughs> only to the bathroom. Yeah, so um, scraps. Yeah, I've got lots of scraps here. I've also got what was sitting around on my desk. I've just had a little bit of a, well, I say tidy up, not really, <laughs> sort into piles as I do. So I've got some bits of scraps and lace some bits of fabrics don't know what I'm going to use I didn't know what I was going to use the first time around but I made something pretty got some other bits of lace here um, and I, I just grabbing things that I want to use up basically so it scraps they're all scraps and I started out um, with an envelope <coughs> well, actually I started out with four or five envelopes <laughs> uh, and I thought uh, you know all different sizes none of them a couple of them used you know none of them would make something together um, and I used one which was a very very thin one started with it and I made this little beauty and I've absolutely fallen in love with it so I'm quite surprised because I was really rusty to start with so um, I've already decided this one is going it's going off in the post um, on Wednesday hopefully we'll all be able to get out the house well Neil's gone back to work today but He'll be off on Wednesday so hopefully we'll be able to get to the post office because I've sold I sold a journal and it needs to go in the post um the bo a boho style one and I, I, since I'd finished this I thought well that just goes perfectly it's got to go in with it so yeah if you're the person that's bought it this will be coming your way so it was just an envelope but it was um really thin and I mean like wafer thin I wouldn't dare post anything in it not even you know a letter in a sheet of paper so I don't know if it was just old or you know maybe from a cheap Christmas card or something but gosh it was no use as an envelope so I just started with my scraps um <coughs> I want to say decoupage I always used to say that didn't I collage collaging on it with um you know lots of bits of, of papers that I had left over these are from Nanine's um I think it might have been the March or the April planner kit. As you know, I was playing with my planner before before I was poorly. Um, piece of my coffee dyed. There's a piece of my uh, the snippety things that I just showed you. I mean, I made these months and months ago um, using up scraps. I think they're on, yes they are. They're on um, masking tape. So I just laid the masking tape out in long, long reels and stuck um, scraps put my scrap box on them and sewed them up and I have used quite a lot of them this is it this is all that's left but I made loads I made loads and loads and loads of them that's not one I don't think no that's just a lovely stitched piece of uh, Edith oh and that's a slow stitched yeah I've just kind of put them together but these are all what I made then yeah so I have been slowly using them and I'm, I'm getting there they're nearly gone um so yeah I uh I can't remember what I did now. I just put lots of, I just collaged on it, put things on it to make pockets. I've put in it in the pockets some of these. Um, I did these in a, um, I need to ink that, it's driving me nutty. <laughs> I 
can't remember if these were in or I've got a lot of that or using up scraps or something but it was my stamping anyway using my stamps and stamping on just um, little pieces of paper and making making my own um, embellishments yep yeah, I'm going to lose a lot of words today aren't I yep yeah, so I put one of those um, strips on there and one on there and then I put papers on there on the front of it probably can't see let's take these out I'll put a couple of scrap papers down there and down there to create a pocket in front of the envelope if you like there and then I just um, reinforce the envelope itself inside because it was so thin so that I, you could put things in there so I've just put a piece of um, paper from the kit from Tanya uh, no it's not Tanya Tina <laughs> right letter wrong name Tina at um, shabby dabby doo -da. and then this postcard that I made a while ago all on camera thought that went nice in there as well just kind of matched it just put some lacy trims and some bits and pieces just a nice little ephemera holder happy mail type they're all indifferent to where I had them but I don't suppose it matters really yeah it's just a nice way to send a few bits off through the post isn't it um, and to use up some scraps so I will have another go because I've got another envelope here this one um, don't know like maybe it was moving into the new home I know it's my sister's writing <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is actually why hasn't she put my name first <laughs> Mm, don't know anyway it looks like my sister's writing so I've got an envelope that I'm going to cover and make something similar to this it won't be the same but it's not quite as thin but it is um, it's still not the thickest it's not like a craft envelope so we'll use some of these um, pieces up and get going and yeah I'll have a little chat to you now I don't know what I'm going to chat to you about because you certainly don't want to know what's been going on in my world for the last five days I'm just looking for glue this is the problem you see I can't remember where everything is looking for a gluing on page that's it um I don't want to think too much about this because I haven't got I haven't got much thinking in me that's going to be the front isn't it so yeah this is kind of what I did with the other one I, I folded a piece over so yeah needless to say um I think last time I spoke to you I told you that we'd been up all night with Neil being ill, I think. I think I think I spoke to you that day. If not, it must have been me telling people in the comments. Anyway, we, I spent, <laughs> or Neil and I spent a night when he was being very ill, um, awake. And then um, the next day, I was due to go to the chiropractor. My sister and her hubby were on their way, their way home from their seaside home to take make us nobody else could and um, yeah that was the morning that I <laughs> I started with it so um, I knew straight away I woke up feeling poorly <laughs> and I thought oh I know exactly what this is um, Neil was still poorly but obviously he'd, he'd been through the, the worst uh, well I think he was about 16 hours with his mine went well over 24 would have to if you knew me wouldn't you <laughs> um, so yeah needless to say I couldn't go for my chiropractor appointment uh, which was a shame now I've had I have had days in the last four or five days and my back's been absolutely fine and days when it's been complete agony so it's uh, yeah it's a strange thing but it's a trapped nerve so I suppose sometimes it's not been as trapped as others I guess <laughs> Yeah, so I had to rearrange, um, and she only works in our, you know, um, area because she, she covers a few areas on a Tuesday and a Friday. Was it Tuesday I was meant to go? It must have been. Um, I don't know why I glued all that. I didn't need to glue all that. I to stick something on the back of it now. <laughs> um, yeah, and I don't, I don't arrange for the following. No, that it must have been the Friday I was due to go nice isn't it yeah I don't arrange for the following uh, Tuesday after the Friday because I wasn't sure I'd be well and uh, yeah how right I was I wouldn't have made it because uh, that would be tomorrow <laughs> yeah definitely not well enough to go to the chiropractor's tomorrow yeah so I'm rearranged for Friday after all that 
didn't know that I was going to leave that long, but let's have a look. Oh, it's not bad. Not bad. I mean, I can fold it wherever I want. I can refold it, can't I? So where shall I take that off? Shall we have it all the way down? I can tell I haven't been talking. Listen to my croaky voice. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, let's have that piece all the way down. It'll give it a bit of um, strength, won't it? So yeah, not much to tell. I haven't seen... Obviously, Mum wanted to come and look after us and uh, we said no way. We're still not sure if it was food poisoning or a bug. Um, the reason I don't think it was food poisoning is because we very rarely eat the same things. And we, you know, I'm not much of a meat eat eater, which is usually the thing, isn't it? And, uh, yeah, we hadn't had eaten anything particularly exciting <laughs> or different or, or whatever. But it was it was severe enough that it was food poisoning. It, it felt it you know it kind of felt like I have had gastroenteritis many many years ago, and that's how it felt. It didn't feel like you know just a bug, a tummy bug that you catch. But you know it could be as you get older. I mean neither of us has had a you know a stomach bug for for years. I guess as you're getting older, when you get a good one, they yeah uh, you certainly know about it. You're not, you're, you're doing that thing again, aren't you? I forgot to use me away from apart. I've just got a little wrinkle there that I don't like. I should have used me rolly thing. I told you I'd forgotten how to craft. Looks like I'm needing a new glue stick as well. I can't even remember what I was doing. I remember using lots of glue stick last time I was crafting but I can't was it Master Bard Monday maybe I can't remember I know I should have been working on my Alice journal which is sat here I don't know if you can see the corner of it yeah it's sat here waiting to go and um, it's Monday today so if I'm okay after this and I upload it and we're all fine I'm hoping that first thing tomorrow morning I'll, I'm hoping to feel better every day I am a little bit but it's not I keep thinking oh tomorrow I'm going to be fine <laughs> and I'm not I am going to fold that right down there I think um yeah so it will be Tati Treasure and Friends Facebook group challenge and I've not missed one yet so I don't want to miss that so um oh that's nice butterflies maybe on the front um So yeah, that's what I'll be filming tomorrow morning for you tomorrow. And then that leaves us Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And if we really have to, Saturday. So that leaves us four days to finish that um, Alice journal, which I think we will. I think we'll do that in four days. No problem. So yeah, today, this is just a hello, I'm back. Do you remember who I am? <laughs> and then... Uh, tomorrow the Facebook challenge which should hopefully get me back into uh, into the full swing of things to be honest I don't want to work on the Alice journal until I'm uh, I've done the same again haven't I glued the whole thing until I stop doing things like this <laughs> yeah until I'm back back in the room <clears throat> I didn't do this with the other one isn't it funny it must be because I'm I'm talking to you well, let's let's just make it longer how about that won't be a problem then will it i didn't ink it either that's it that's not so bad problem averted mainly now i don't I'm, it's not my intention to do it exactly the same but while i'm talking to you <laughs> i'm just doing some of the same thing oh, that print's come up on there uh, just to make life make life a bit easier and now I want something on the back of there I want something down there as well I'm wondering if we might put a, some fabric on this that um, yes what is it called that snowflake that pretty snowflake I don't want to cover it up um, I want to cover in here don't we oh there's a nice little pocket there Yes, yeah, so I just gathered things together that, like I say, <laughs> are kind of done with with the projects that um, 
I was using them for. That's nice and thick. Let's keep that out. Looking for some inspiration for here. You can see that that was a. That's that's why my printer ran out of ink. That's what it does. It suddenly goes purple for some strange reason. Yeah, that's the rest of the sheet. And what about a piece that way? We'll go down with that as well. Just strengthens that um, that fold a little bit, doesn't it? We will. We'll go down there and then we'll start putting fabricy things on. Make it a bit different. Think about the pockets. So I'm interested to know what you guys have been up to while I've been gone. I um, I do know there's a lot of comments on there and I must admit I have been on and read some of them. Read most of them I think. Um, I don't I think I might have started answering a couple and then gave up um, just because energy <laughs> it's just pure energy <laughs> just even moving your finger on the phone was crazy so I don't know whether to I think what I'll just do is all the ones that I've got today go through and just um, put a heart and a, a, a thumbs up on them so that you know that I've read them and then start afresh because if I'm playing catch up with comments I'm gonna be behind all the time rather than having a conversation with you so um, yeah I think that's what I'll do that's a good idea right I can I can glue all this one now so thank you to I've had a few people saying they're, they're missing my voice while they're crafting <laughs> who uh, yeah put me on and craft away I'm like uh, elevator music <laughs> in the background um, yeah I've missed chatting to you I really have I must admit I've missed it on the other hand you know it was the last thing on my mind I have to say I just breathe oh, I'm so dramatic I know but just breathing in and out some some hours of the day I um, I think I've told you before I am quite I'm quite a baby sometimes I mean I, I can be really brave with things like you know like being awake when they did my knee no problem with that and a lot of the things they did to me no problem but you, you can't really do anything about um, you know, a bad stomach because I'm not going to go into detail so those of you that are squeamish don't worry I I'm, I'm won't go there <laughs> um, you know you can't can't take tablets or anything because they're not they're not in there long enough <laughs> to stop the pain so the pain is just constant uh, so yeah I'm basically what I'm trying to say is I missed you was we folding it right down there we were I missed you um, but oh, I need to ink I'm just feeling the need to ink uh, yeah but I couldn't uh, I couldn't chat so yeah we stopped mum coming and um, yeah that's, I find I I got in touch with my sister and brother-in-law um, they had set off but they turned round because it was going to be really noisy here uh, they had an armed forces day and, and uh, I think they had a scooter rally both really close to where they live um, when they're here so yeah it would have been quite a quite a noisy weekend for them and I w obviously we wouldn't let anyone near <laughs> we wouldn't let anybody in whether it was a bug or food poisoning um, we just helped each other <laughs> through right yeah let's have some I've got some nice this this is a nice color with this oh that, that could make a belly band couldn't it so um it's not dirty this lace it is clean if, I don't know if you remember it's lace that I got um yeah I got a big stack of it really cheap off the car boot and it, it was all um pinned together with rusty safety pins or sellotape that was <laughs> basically stained and uh yeah I could do front to back on that right so let's hang fire on that a minute but that's going to hide that nice let's decide what we're going to do on the back do we want some now I'm going to have to cover it because of that arm toy um what have we got we've got left here let's drop some of that green one that put on the other one we've got a bunny rabbit now this had um I believe this had April stuck on it somewhere and I, April 2022 from the planner and I just tore it off 
he just fits as well so I think he's meant to be don't you just tie it off and then I've got the piece to use I think this was the piece if not there's a there's a similar piece that I did it to <laughs> did I use that glue yes I did so yeah it was lovely after after a while to read all your uh, your comments I have to say I didn't read them for two days <laughs> um, and I did on the third day I was thinking I really must tell people I really must post up but I think it, it took me another 12 hours before I did but um, thank you so much for everybody all the comments everywhere <laughs> on all the different places it's nice to know I was missed it was really nice actually I, I can't tell you how, how heartwarming it is <coughs> um, you know you get you get the comments with people saying they enjoy watching and whatever but it's you only know it, it's all you're part of their lives I guess really or part of their routines you know when you're not there and they're, they're texting you saying I hope everything's okay or you know sending you messages saying hope you're all right and Neil's all right and yeah we miss your voice and things like that yeah very touching thank you guys okay i think that's a bit much it's a bit dark isn't it a bit patchy we go with something plainer i mean i've always got loads of these like faux coffee dyed now i'm just not feeling them though we're not short of paper are we so i've got another piece of that writing paper Now that is going to have, if we're going to put lace top and bottom, it won't matter, uh, you know, right round, as it were. It won't matter if I've got a, another seam there, really, will it? Yeah, so trying not to overthink it and trying to get my thinking in gear <laughs> at the same time. Can't do both, Denise. Which one are you going for? What I have done this morning oh gosh I'll tell you you'll hear me going on for days about I've got no energy because I can't get over how I've got no energy what I've done uh, this morning because I get up and I do something for about four minutes then I have to sit on a chair <laughs> um was throw out all the out of date food from the fridge because obviously we, we other than for milk in a cup of tea and that for the first 24 hours we didn't have that <laughs> you know neither of us went near the fridge and the food I've thrown out just from four days not eating, it's shocking. Uh, I, I decided um, we need to eat more frozen food and less fresh. Doesn't sound right that does it, but gosh, the food that, you know, that's gone off in that four day period and considering how expensive stuff is now, it, it was quite shocking. I, I think, I probably didn't realise how short dated a lot of food is because some of it we'd only bought you know a few days earlier it only been a few days since we've been shopping need to pay uh, a lot more attention i think to uh, yeah to the dates on on things that we're buying normally we eat it and <laughs> we don't have to especially with neil at work and you know he takes pack up to work and he you know has cooked meal when he gets home so usually i can go in the fridge and think oh so and so's want that wants eating up and <laughs> we do it but uh yeah to not eat for four days and be wasting so much and i'm you know there was a lot an awful lot it was shocking and they weren't at best before they were all used by dates you know which is like things that will make you poorly <laughs> if you eat them gosh i mean i have to throw four eggs out not normally i look at things like that i'm not eggs usually have a bit of a shelf life on them don't they and they um i mean they are best before um, because you can yeah like that Oops, something around the edge you can um you know test to see if eggs are fresh can't you when you crack them before you before you actually eat them and poison yourself uh, but yeah i even threw four of those out which normally i would know it would they'd be coming to the end and uh I've got some clusters somewhere, haven't I? Dig some in so you can see. Yeah, boil them for sandwiches or something like that. But yeah, the stuff I've thrown out. I don't know. 
Right. Hmm. I want something. What do I want? I want something bold. And down here, I think this grey is a bit plain, isn't it? So we've got lace. What's this black? You're quite bold, aren't you? Oh, you've got a lot on you as well. Have you come undone or? Ooh. Wild. <laughs> it's got a button and bling and yes, you're very wild. Can't can't go with you today. Oh, that's pretty. Now this one I've had a long, long time. This is definitely one of my old ones. Um what we're we gonna put in there? Postcard, do we think? Yeah, that'll brighten it up. Let's let's see if we can find a postcard. Oh Troll through some of this. This is a job that I was starting when uh when all went downhill. <laughs> so I've got some, I will show you in time, I've got some lovely new wire baskets for my craft room, all inspired by Tim Holtz. <laughs> Did you watch Tim Holtz? Hey, Tim Holtz fan. Did you watch his, um, he showed, uh, um, he did a share of his craft room, how he'd got it organised and what have you. And he had some, I mean, obviously it's very masculine and it's very well organised, it's beautiful. He had some, um, he had wire baskets, his were, uh, you know, vintage ones with lots of his stuff in. And as soon as I saw him, I'm like, oh, I know that I would like some of those. They're very me. And then the next day we went into mm -hmm, a charity shop called, what's it called? Right, I've got pulled enough out. Let's have a look at what I've got. The British Heart Foundation. So obviously it's a heart charity. She's quite nice, isn't she? And they had packs of six, brand new. Like I say, I'll show you them when I get to, when I get a chance. And it said uh, 15 pound for six, normal price on Amazon, 45 pound. Now I know Amazon do give them, do give, uh, like her on there, don't dislike her. I suppose this white ties this white in. Gonna have to make a decision, Denise. Let's put this band on. Right, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so there they were. <laughs> no sooner was one day I was thinking, oh gosh, I'd like them, what a find. So I think he said he'd found them in a, vil a vintage, uh, a salvage yard or something like that. And I thought, oh, I'll keep my eyes out because they're the sort of places Neil likes to go and, and what have you. Yeah, brand new ones. So <laughs> where was I going with all that? Um, yeah, so I was starting to sort out. That's where I was going. <laughs> Trying to sort out my um, ephemera that I made. Because they'll be a perfect thing to keep them in. Keep it in. And then I can keep checking on it and rotating it and yeah, moving it on. I've sold a bit, a bit of my ephemera since I last spoke to you on uh, Etsy. Sold, sold a fair bit and there's, there's a bit still there. Um, oops. Concentrating so I can't talk. <laughs> Good old fabric out. I need to give that a minute to just hold it now. Um, what I'm going to do on the inside, let's put that rabbit back. Need some more papers, don't I? I don't feel that uh, what I've got there is doing it for me. What have I got here? And I've got some coffee dyed, that might be nice. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to use scraps really. I mean, I suppose they're sort of scrappy-ish. I want that one in as much as I won't ever use them in a journal, particularly. So let's have a look at the colours. That one does, doesn't it? I don't know about that gold one. This one might go nice inside. Um, so where do we want the pockets to be? I'm going to cover that. I don't like that butterfly. No. Now, last time I just did um, on the other one. I just did a. I'll do it again. I know I said I was going to do it different, but you didn't see it, did you? So oh, it was a cut-off piece, but I just did something to it. Oh, that's. 
That's Neil. <laughs> Needs my face. Wait a minute. Just make sure he's okay. Oh, I'll be back in a tick. Okay, I've silenced him. He's all right. <laughs> I just wanted to check in case he was poorly. He's obviously on his uh, his lunch break because he's checking something about the Wi-Fi. <laughs> I'm like, you're at work. He's obviously feeling okay. Um, yeah, I think if we just have this plain collar, I think I'll just have the one pocket in this one. And then, oh, well, we had that little butterfly. I might put that little butterfly pocket in. So let's have a think how, how will I do this? I'm just trying to make life easy. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I hope you can see, I think. Uh, I didn't check the camera angle. Just plugged it in and went. You see, I did need to do this video, didn't I? Just to see. Oh, that's a bit low, Denise. Just to see how to do things again, because that's not too bad. Not too bad. Let's have you down there, then. <laughs> It's all right if you're listening to me. If you're watching me, you'll be thinking, what on earth is she doing? I don't know. I don't know myself. <laughs> Oops, I know my wire's in the way. Excuse me a minute. There we go. Yeah, he gets he gets uh, notifications on his phone about the Wi-Fi. Um, I think he thought, <laughs> he said something new's come up on the Wi-Fi. I bet he thought I'd had something delivered or something. I haven't, I haven't attached anything new to it, so... Uh, Unless somebody out and about's attached to our Wi-Fi, which I don't think they can do. I think it's security. I mean, you have things like, I mean, your printer and things like that. Even the TV, they connect at will, don't they, whenever they want. <laughs> whenever they want to, it seems, they connect. I think I'm going to have to stop and get a glue stick. They connect and disconnect. So I don't know. Oops. But it wasn't anything new. <laughs> I bet just nosing us getting the better of him. Since we moved in, I haven't reconnected the um, the Alexa. In fact, I've been meaning to, but quite liking life without her. Strange though it is. I mean, I miss her for music, but it's quite an intrusion. <laughs> um, just see, so just spotted that my lid wasn't on that. Yeah, so you, you you know you can be on the te telephone, have a conversation. I can be filming, or you know you can have people in, and she she just pipes up, doesn't she, with whatever she wants to. <laughs> I know you can probably change the settings, but uh, yeah, I didn't like it. And then you, you're talking about I quite like that over there. Actually, I was going to cut it off, but I like it. You're talking about things, and then she makes suggestions about what you're talking about. So yeah, she listens to you. I mean, we know. We know she listens to us and you know, it's not that exciting in our life that we've got out to hide to be honest but it's just like oh, life is a bit more peaceful without her <laughs> so i'm sure she'll she'll be re reconnected one day but at the minute i can't be bothered with her so maybe you thought i'd connected her i don't know it's always a palaver connecting new things uh, old things in the new house as well because we've we've got a you know what we call big Alexa downstairs, and we've got the little, the little Echo upstairs. Neither connected. But I think we probably, st when we first got in, plugged one in. I think I said we'll have some music on or something, and it was, it was giving us grief about something or another, <laughs> having to go on and reset something. And it's like, oh, right, I've got to go some glue. And there we go, as if by magic. Oh. <laughs> Am I turning it the wrong way? Yes. <laughs> oh dear. So my plans when I finish this is, while it's uploading, I'm going to run a bath and um, have a little soak. And then, although it's only, well, I suppose it's late afternoon, I will be having my PJs back on and I will be sitting downstairs in front of the television, which I did most of the day yesterday. As you know, I'm not a TV watcher, generally, but it was it was nice to just sit because your, your brain just doesn't, <laughs> or my brain wasn't, it wasn't working on anything. 
you know, if Neil asked me a question about anything, <laughs> where's the sugar, what do you want to drink, what's your mum's number, anything like that, the answer was not computing. <laughs> I don't know, can't think about it. Is that my new lid? Don't know which is the old lid and the new lid now. Okay, we'll just choose one. Excuse me, I'll have to excuse me if I keep hiccuping. I'm not eating very much, neither of us are. Uh, we have no appetite. Um, we're just eating for energy. Well, we're not eating enough for energy, but um, yeah, we still get grumbles when we eat. So we're eating very little and full of full of hiccups and such like. Um, yeah, I like her in there. You can see how my brain's not really with it, can't you? I had a lovely green strip, didn't I? What did I do with it? And I said, oh, here it is. But that would be nice down there, yes. I quite like the plain lines. I know I used the stitch ones last time, but I'm thinking, I'll bring them in to let you show again, but yeah, I'm thinking I quite like that. Uh, but the wrong colours these anyway. I mean, I suppose that would go. Could double it up. I just like that green. Just like it, so let's have it. Let's choose it. Until <laughs> it's very nearly the perfect size, isn't it? It's not square that way, but I'm not I'm not worried about that. Let's just give it a bit of an ink. Yeah, so it wasn't my intention to come on and do with the exact same uh, envelope, really. I, I don't suppose I have because um, it's got a different innard and it's got a belly band, so. But I thought I might create something completely different. I must admit, when I first did the other one, I thought I'll sit down and, and do a bit of, uh, that's not what I want. Do a bit of crafting and work out a few kinks. And when I finished that other one, I liked it so much, I thought, oh dear, I've peaked. <laughs> I'm not going to create one this nice that I like as much now. Perhaps I should have just put the camera on, but, you know, I just felt more confident just sitting and having a play. Oops, come on. And I'm, I must admit, I... I loved putting all those little um, printed pieces in it that I had on my desk because I made, uh, you know, too many to be used up in a hurry. So can you see what I'm saying? That's not, I could have cut it level, but I'm not. We're using up scraps, not time. <laughs> I maybe could have stuck it level, might have helped. Um, so perhaps we'll have some frill on the inside this time instead of on the out. What have we got? We've got some, do we want some green? It's huh. a bit of a shocking green next to all the others, isn't it? Probably not. Oh, it's all right with the front. Mm -hmm. Shall we just have it hanging down the middle? The inside, I mean, the middle. Um, don't know, just bear with me. Oh, I've got this lovely piece of fabric. That's always fraying. <laughs> lovely fabric, just uh, difficult to glue when it's... Oh, no, we could have a belly band that way in there with that one, couldn't we? What do you think to that? Two-way belly band. Yeah, because I could hang something over it that's... Um... Let's, let's do it. Hang something over it. That is what? Oh, that is not. Right, wipe that off. It probably would stick it, but not quick enough. I want fabric tape. <coughs> what was I saying? I was saying it probably wasn't something. <laughs> hmm. No, give up. It's gone. Sorry. You probably guessed what I was going to say. over a bit. Well, I'll hang it over and then if I don't like it I'll trim it off. Um, it's nice just getting bits out and playing and not really caring what you make. Well, you know what I mean. Not having an agenda about needing something finished. So 
So I'm going to put some more of those little bits in the bottom of there, definitely. And I think they're pretty up as well because this is quite plain, isn't it? If I've got something we didn't have last time. What about a fairy? We didn't have a fairy last time. She's quite nice in the green, isn't she? She's not cut very square. Never mind, stop being fussy. Oh, we've got her on some of that lovely green. Should we have her on that? Yeah. It's the green book envelope. <laughs> I don't know why I'm looking for things to put in it before I wrap. I love that little herb sign. It goes nice though, doesn't it? It's not one that I printed. It's pretty. Should we put one of those in? Yeah, stop going for green things, Denise. <laughs> Everything green. Let's have some contrast. That's it. Let's have that pink in there. That's better. I still want something else in there, but there's a daisy look. Yeah. Um, oh, and there's this lovely torn round flower that I've not. Lovely. Um, what was that? How well down are you? Not very there. I was thinking about putting a, a, a snippet, not a snippet, a, a cluster. I don't know what they're called now. A long thing on it <laughs> for embellishment. Oh yeah, I know what I was starting to say to you. You probably don't know, but I had it in my mind. Was um, yeah, I didn't look. I didn't look at my comments on my for a couple of days. Uh, but when I when I did finally go back on and have a look on uh, my uh, channel page, I don't really want that pink. Or I quite like that denim on it. At uh, denim, gingham. Yeah, my uh, my subscriptions had gone up, which was very strange. And he said to me, "They obviously like it when you don't create." <laughs> I said, "Fair enough." Just looking for some inspiration, really. Not sure about that. Want something but not that. I keep trying this, don't I? Mm, don't don't dislike it, but I don't love it. What about bling? No. Hmm. Now there's a tiny touch of pink there with that, isn't there? I might give it a bit of strength at the top actually if something's hanging off. Oops, hanging over it think I heard you say yes are you pink lovers like me I'm just wondering where my scissors are <laughs> have I had my scissors while you've been on oh I wonder if I have you see I didn't stop and tidy up after the last one I just went downstairs and <laughs> chilled hmm that's very strange must have a pair of scissors here somewhere. Sure. I must have cut that, didn't I? No. No, but I cut that lace, so they must be here. Yes, I cut the lace. Did you see what I did with them? Yes, they're here. That looks like a very strange camera angle. I do hope you can see. That's the first thing I'll be checking. So, yeah, I'm thinking across the top. Pull it. Fabric tack. It may give it a bit of strength for something to to hang over there. Okay. You talked yourself into it, Denise. Just do it. Let's talk more action. There's a lot of a lot of glue in places there. Pigeons are singing to me. Gosh, I'll tell you what the birds love the birds as I do and you know I love the singing of the birds have driven me crazy these last few mornings if you're not very well from about four o'clock they start and um, instead of it being beautiful bird song it was like repetitive the same three tones over and over for hours I was thinking in my head will somebody please go scare the birds away 
yeah it's funny how how things that you normally love annoy you right what was we saying about the front i'm not going to glue it down don't worry <laughs> she says so that's going in there and that will help hold it down but we probably want creasing a bit we probably want something on this side don't we did i have a i did have a cluster that i wasn't sure about wasn't that one was it no i didn't like that one but i'm sure there was one that was more oh i was going to put that in more what i don't know <laughs> i don't know what it was more of but it was more what i was wanting on there wasn't that no it's gone whatever i had in my mind it's hidden under all oh what was that it was more the colours, that's what it was. I love a little bit of bling in it. I was going to say the white doesn't go with this cream lace, but now we've got this white lace here, haven't we? So let me just lean back a little bit and have a look. No, I don't think I do. That one's softer, very soft. I like the mother of pearly bit on the button. Let's let's have that one, shall we? I'm only going to put it on in a small spot so it can flap about. In theory, that's it. That's a nice, decent sized button to squash down. All right, we want something for in there. Now we could make something out of the scraps. I just have a quick look in here, see if there's something I can use up. I couldn't possibly put it on the desk. It's way too big and full. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, I vaguely remember making this. Probably needs more journaling in it, but is it going to be too? Yeah, it's too big. Too big. Right, let's have a look what we've got then. Got anything in here? This is another piece, look where the purple uh, the purple began double sided though could just be a piece of writing paper but I've got this as well that I wanted on too late well, unless I put it on the back I can't remember what's on the back now gosh how bad's your memory <laughs> what's on the back anything oh not a lot so we've left a space to put something in that's nice on there isn't it right we'll put that on the back Oh, you see, the excitement's coming back. And um, we'll just put this, we'll fold this as a piece of writing paper or um, stash paper to be used. Let's take the white edges off, and this is the easiest way for me at the moment. I link it a little bit as well. Oh, that went better than I thought it might. Come here, come here, come here. That's it. Um, and then we want a big card, don't we, for in there. I knew there was something that my brain was <laughs> grasping around the edges of and couldn't get. That's what it is. There was a big journal card missing. Beautiful. This it again. This is from the. Well, I don't know if it's from the planner kit or. Um, I think it's from a journal kit that goes with the planner from the Nina collage type. Right, so I'm thinking if we fold it over, it's still going to be two. I fold it in three. I hope we still get the pretty. Yeah, that one wants to go that way, doesn't it? So, silly. holding on there quite well that cloth it just won't take anything too strong that's nice no one maybe wants something up there but let's um yes yeah, she's back <laughs> she's here with a fillet fillet and over fillet and over embellish it and, uh, right I don't know if I've got any big journal cards let's just get a big pile out like I said it was half tidied through at one point this not any longer oh crikey 
I don't see any big ones. What I do have are, um, it's not wide enough, uh, masterboards that are not cut up yet. Oh, that's nice. A pad would be nice, wouldn't it, in there? Yeah, we could make a pad and it would use up lots of scraps. Let's make a pad to put in. Yay. Give myself an idea. <laughs> We'll have that piece of paper in it. Um, should we have that on the outside as well? Right. What depth have we got? We're going with a butterfly theme. We have got, I, think, I feel like I might have been on ages now. So we're looking at about, well, five bucks. Should we go four and three quarters? Well, let's see. Let's see how much we've got. Have I lost my postcard? We've got eight, so we could go four. Right. I think about what I'm doing. I want one that goes over the top, really. So it's about that, that, that level there, which is seven. This must be an eight by eight pad that this paper's come out of. I think, yeah, I think I'd get seven in there, which would give me an inch to turn over for the front and or the back, whichever way you want to look at it. And what did I want it that way for? Yeah, so I want it that way. I could probably go a bit bigger than four now. I do so hope I'm in film. I keep pulling it my way and thinking you can't see, but when I glance up at the camera, it looks like you can. <laughs> okay. Are we trusting to tear in? We are. Not brilliant, but it's a scrappy. No, don't like it. <laughs> Didn't even get the words out, did I? It's a scrappy pad, I was going to say, but no, don't like that. Here you go, have you, mister? She's back. This is chopper board. There we go. Right, and so I get a nice fold over the top. Where's the other thing? There's the other piece of kit that I can't live without. I've lost it. Where's my scoreboard? Oh. Okay. That's how we're feeling. Is that the right way up? Yeah, obviously the top's not going to be, but... You will just have to fold it by hand and hope. Right, you're going to fit in there, is the... Oh, only just. Only just. Why are you such a tight fit? Like something's stopping it down there. This feels real open though. What's stopping you? Nothing. <laughs> Whoopsie. That's glue. Yes, Denise, we've got enough rubbish going on here. So. There's one piece, <laughs> two pieces. I'm just getting my rubbish. Uh, rubbish. That was a slip of the tongue. <laughs> my scrap box out. Rubbish box indeed. Just want some plain. So there's one. Must be big enough though, doesn't it? And oh, drew a piece of that in. And a piece of that. You know what that is. That's the last few scraps from the lavender blue blush and rose kit. So I'll just fold it in half so we get two pieces in. Yes. Yeah. And we have a piece of that. It's just plain, but we all need plain paper. We often can't find any plain paper around here when I want some. I'm not sure about this because it's just a printer thing. No. And I think that's going to be thick enough, to be honest. We obviously want blushing rose on the top. I'm going to stagger them, but they're all about the same. Oh no. I think I'll just do them down there and staple them in. I think that will be the easiest way around. 
in the middle. I wondered what that was then. Now there seemed to be a lot of room, didn't there? I wonder if I could have something on there. Oh, I'll put the staples in and then I could have something over the staples. Good thinking. Stapler. A nice big long one that I just got. Oh, how do you all move? Normally I think I would have liked that stitched, but that is not happening today. Um, oops, I just oh, I can't get in. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I just like to squeeze them down completely. I felt like I didn't give them enough oomph. So. I'm wondering if to just fold them up and not rip them off because it would be a shame to lose some of that. I mean, that wouldn't matter too much. But um, let's tear some off and see. see how far off we are. Boo. Yep, that will fit. No, not quite. Just a little bit too long. <laughs> I love making mess, don't I? Pretty, isn't it? I definitely want something across the top though. Yeah, and it's going to fit in easy. So I just, where did I see that little gold braid? That seems we've got gold butterflies on there. A little piece of that. Is it too much? I feel it's too much. I've got some grungy. Quite like that. No. Nope. I've got a little bit of lace. No. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> I should have put that in with it, stapled it in. Right, where's the grungy stuff? Another bit of you on them. Oh, look at all these bits. I'm going to put them in the bin before I'm tempted to, <laughs> to put them away somewhere. Oh, screwed them up. I'll try not to get them out. I know there's a every possibility that I will. <laughs> I'll try my hardest not to. So, I'm just... A, out to show you the finished article I think am I oh no I've got to put that thing on the back but I will have to be gone soon because I am rapidly running out of energy but I'm pleased I've come on and got my first one done give me a thumbs up and let me know it's not been an awful <laughs> an awful waste of time that would be nice if I hear deathly silence that will speak <laughs> that will speak to me I'll know what that means. <laughs> Must do better. Loving that. I'm just going to put it in to show you because. Are you nice and here? Yeah. Because it's wet blue and I want to take it out. I want to take it out. Yeah, I want to be able to take it out. I don't want it to stick. Yep, yeah, like that. It's pretty. Um, let's create a bit of space around the job, shall we? Because we're nearly done. And we'll be wanting to look at what we've made. Good grief, Denise. You're out the front. Now you see, I've lost my little butterfly pocket. And I maybe want something in the back as well. So, did you see it go that way? Yes. <laughs> So a butterfly pocket there and maybe something up there. So we can have a little tag in here, can't we? Looks like it might have been inked that. I don't know. It's not quite there. It's a lovely firm one as well. Let's use some art glitter on it. Is 
Actually, the pigeons are doing it now. It must be my state of mind. Normally, I would think that was all right, but it's like eh, 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 eh. <laughs> over and over again. Stop. Stop your racket. Bunny rabbits and butterflies, this one. And snowdrops. It's a mixed mixed season, isn't it? Um, little tag. Did I have some little tags in here? Oh, oh, I must have done, wasn't I? Can you see in it? Can you see? Do you think I've got enough? We're driving Tanya mad, this. <laughs> Can you see in my box of ephemera, Tanya? Look at it. Oh, I've had that one a long time. Let's see if that one will go in. It's got a bunny rabbit on it. Yay. He was just waiting for that day. Um, in there, what did I say? I might put in there. I didn't, did I? Um, no, it's not Boho. So it's not her. I'm sure I had an idea and now it's gone what I was going to put in there. So postcard on the front, that on the inside. Is it something from over here? I could do more folded up paper. No, it's going to detract from this, isn't it? I just want something, I don't know. I might just leave it. I think I'll just leave that. This one in the front. You like to come out though, don't you? You need to stay put. Maybe I should make it smaller. I'm missing here. Now you, we could, you could use, if you receive this, you could use what's in here to actually embellish the envelope more, couldn't you? Anyway, what do you think? Is that a nice piece of happy mail, do you think? Definitely enjoyed playing with it and used a lot of my pieces up. Um, yeah, they are quite different, aren't they? It's a good way to use up an envelope. Uh, yeah, bling label I put on there, which I haven't got on there. But I've got this little um, rosebud off a piece of lace and just put it on with a... What sort of a pin is that? A safety pin. So yeah, it's more about what you fill them with actually once they're made, I think. Oh, I think I might need a bigger postcard for in there. I'm pretty sure. I wonder if I backed that. Yeah, that would be better, wouldn't it? Will you hold it in? Oh, I've stuck you down too far now. Mm. I suppose you could go over the front. It's very butterfly. They're both very butterfly, aren't they? No, I need a bigger, taller, squarer postcard for in there. I will find one. Um, we won't go in the back, will you, by any chance? Oops, not that way, she won't. Oh, a journal card in there, wasn't I? Oh no, we made that. You see, you can see my brain's a shot, can't you? Right, time I, time I left it. Let's pop this in for now. And uh, yeah, I'll work on, work on something for there. Okay, so, yeah, check to me in the comments. Give me a thumbs up if you can, if not, Pretend today didn't happen. <laughs> Come back tomorrow for Teddy Treasure and Friends, a Facebook group challenge. Have a lovely evening, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.